Version 2.107 of the Feedback Fruit Tool Suite has arrived with a collection of new features and improvements. Let's take a look. Starting with Learning Analytics Dashboards. Inside the Feedback Fruits platform, teachers can now monitor student engagement and performance across learning activities at a glance. These dashboards display cumulative data of all Feedback Fruits learning activities inside of your courses. The two sets of dashboards currently available are Student Engagement, where data is based on the student interactions and activity within assignments, such as count and type of contributions, and Student Success, where data is based on student competencies and skill progression, for example, ratings based on rubrics. These learning analytics help you overview how courses are progressing at a macro level, alongside micro insights into individual students' engagement and performance. To spot a student at risk from among a large cohort, for example, is now easier. And you can export all course data with the button in the top right. Depending on which Feedback Fruits tools you're using, you'll be able to see either one or both dashboards. Learning Analytics is currently being released under Feature Flag for our Tool Suite partners, so please do get in touch with your Feedback Fruits contact person if you'd like to get started. Next up, Group Formation in Moodle. It's now possible to form and publish groups from Group Formation to the Moodle LMS, joining its siblings Canvas and Brightspace, who already had this integration. If you'd like to use group formation in Moodle, please contact us so we can update your integration scopes and ensure things run smoothly. And do note that after publishing groups to the LMS, it won't be possible to modify them via feedback fruits anymore. Rather, changes should be made via your native LMS tools. And next, we've got emojis. Following recent text editor updates, you can now find an emoji button at the end of the bar above text boxes. Simply select your emoji of choice and it'll appear in your text. You can also add emojis using short codes. Start by typing in a colon followed by the name of the emoji you want to use. For now, the rich text editor and emoji picker are only available in instructions text boxes. If you want to see it in other places within our platform, please let us know. And lastly, group contribution grading has gained some more quality of life improvements. Group contribution grading has been getting a lot of updates this year, adding lots of options for you to tweak depending on how well groups have performed in the activity. But once your rules were set, it was quite difficult to return to the menu. Now we've added clearer instructions on how to use this feature, as well as a new button so you can easily recap on your set rules. These improvements are available right now for all users of group contribution grading. And that is all for this update. If you have any questions about these changes or ideas or suggestions that could make your teaching experience smoother, don't hesitate to get in touch and see the fruits of your feedback.